हेलो एवरी वन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पी एम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइज फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम यू आर रिक्वेस्टिंग टू मेक वीडियो ऑन एम पी एल एस सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन मोर प्ले लिस्ट ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड नेम ऑफ दिस प्ले लिस्ट इज ऑल अबाउट एम पी एल एस बिकॉज इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द थिंग्स एंड टॉपिक विच वी हैव इन एम पी एल एस बट दिस इज first video of this playlist so today in this video we are going to understand why we need mpls why we come up with mpls after that day by day i will make you understand how mpls works how mpls routers forward traffic on the basis of tag on the basis of level okay but before understanding those things guys first try to understand why we need mpls then only i can make you understand what is mpls and how mpls works so in day 2 or maybe in day 3 we will understand how mpls works today try to understand what is the need of mpls so see, see guys here on the board i have draw one diagram in this diagram you can see this is my service provider this network is service provider network and in service provider network there are two types of router in service provider network there are two types of router one is p router p router means provider router and second type of router is pe router provider edge router so like you can see this is pe router this is also pe router this is also pe router this is also p p p and these all routers which i draw in black color are provider router these are provider router and these are provider edge router after that provider edge connects customer edge routers right so this is my customer edge router like you can see here is one company this is let's say co company a there is one network of company a there is network of a company b there is a network of company c and this is other side of same company company a company b and company c let's say side this is side a this is side 2 b side b or b1 and here i can say b2 here i can say c1 here i can say c2 here i can say a1 here i can say a2 this is side 1 of a company this is side 2 of a company this is side b b of side 1 of b company this is side 2 of b company this is side 1 of c company this is side c of of side 2 of c company like this this providers will connects multiple customer network provider is responsible to provide you connectivity between two points let's say this sides is in bangalore and this is in let's say mumbai mumbai so provider is responsible to connect two sides together like mumbai sides network and bangalore sides network are connected together through service provider network and this is the pe router let's say guys this service provider have 5000 customer this service provider have 5000 customer and there will be lots of router right in the service provider network that are pe router that is pe router provider router okay so let's say cuz this service provider have connected 500 customer done so like this you can see there are three customer like this suppose that this service provider have connect 500 customer like there is here is one pe router here is one pe router here is and this service provider is let's say airtel done any service provider you can say guys first of all tell me if this sites is if this sites is you know sharing 1000 prefixes this sites sharing 1000 prefixes to this side here okay this side have 1000 prefixes and this side have also let's say 1000 prefixes now whenever user from this company will communicate with the user of this company let's say here is one user whose ip address is 10.1.1.1 and all all our all customer can use same network as well in vrf we have discussed this okay this is the ip address of a user who is sitting in this company and here is one user who is sitting in this company whose ip address is let's say 10.1.2.1 getting my point okay so 10.1.1.1 want to communicate with 10.1.2.1 this machine will generate uh, icmp traffic if i am taking i, I am taking example of ping so 
this machine will generate icmp traffic and it will forward to c router c router will forward traffic to p router till here i don't have problem because i have only two routers right but between this p to this p there are lots of router there are let's say 500 router so all 500 router will check their routing table yes or no and all 5000 router will install this 1000 prefixes in their routing table for one customer for one customer they have the, they will install 1000 prefix in their routing table so in provider network right these router should be you know with good hardware these router cannot be the normal router otherwise these router cannot handle the, these much amount of prefixes in their routing table yes or no like if i am connecting 5000 prefixes and total number of prefixes which i am receiving from customer is let's say 20000 so these router cannot handle 20000 prefixes in their routing table let's suppose when we are not using mpls when we are not using mpls if we are not using mpls let's say then here in service provider network i have to use good hardware router right i have to use good good router and that are expensive but with the help of mpls we can use normal router as well right with the help of mpls we can use here normal routers because in mpls okay let's let's talk about mpls later before mpls if p router will share thousand prefixes of this company in this network and all service provider will install thousand prefixes in their routing table in the same way this company is also advertising thousand prefixes this company is also advertising thousand prefixes because this company have thousand number of sites in different location so this company will have thousand number of prefixes and it will advertise to p router and pt p router will advertise to all p router and all p router will install all prefixes in their routing table and whenever it will receive whenever p router will receive any prefixes it will check their routing table like you know when c router this router will receive a packet where source is 10.1.1 and destination is 10.1.1.2 what will happen it will check it will first open ip header and you know size of ip header is 20 byte so it will open 20 byte information then it will check destination ip then it will look up their fib table routing table FIB table forwarding information base table okay that is in da data plane it will check FIB table after that it will check two things next of IP address and exit interface after that it will forward to P router again P router will check their routing table first it will open the IP header then it will check the routing table it will find the next of IP address and exit interface then it will forward to P router and in the same way all P routers all provider routers will open IP header it will check destination IP address, it will check the routing table, it will find the desktop IP address and exit interface, after that it will forward the traffic. So guys, here in the service provider network, delay will automatically increase. Delay will automatically increase because in service provider network, let's say between this P router to this P router, there are one thousand routers or 500 routers so 500 routers will check ip header it will open ip header it will check routing table it will check the next of ip address it will check exit interface and then it will process the packet so if all 500 routers will you know perform uh, you know this type of processing for one packet then you can assume the load on these router guys then you can assume the load on provider routers first problem is we cannot handle thousands of prefixes in the routing table of these router in the provider router p routers are good router p router can install thousands of prefixes but these router cannot install so these are normal routers so don't worry we have what mpls now mpls comes in picture what mpls say mpls say you don't need to install prefixes in their routing table providers router will not install routes in their routing table only p router will have the route 10.1.1.0 10.1.2.0 this is 2.0 2.1 okay so provider routers will not have the routes in their routing table now automatically what will happen here i can use if these router don't need to install these thousands of prefixes or 5000 prefixes in their routing table then i can use normal router here i can use 
normal router only i need to use here good hardware okay so this is the first first benefit and in mpls these router don't need to install routes in their routing table because in mpls traffic or packet forwarding will done on the basis of labeling on the basis of labeling guys there are few types of uh, you know packet processing if i will talk about the first type of packet processing so that is process switching first is process switching and now we are not using this method but this is the first method in process switching whenever it will receive any frame again it is going to check their routing table rib table okay after that second type of switching is uh, you know second type of switching is called fast forwarding switching third type of switching is called cisco express forwarding that is saf and you have to understand saf because mpls is directly connected on saf okay if saf is not enabled on router then mpls you cannot configure mpls yes you can configure but there is no benefit of enabling mpls if saf is disabled and the fourth type of switching is called mpls that is mpls that is label switching multi protocol label switching means it is a combination of multi protocol and switching will done on the basis of label here by default you know if i will talk about the traditional routing so router maintain two type of table in their well, two router maintain actually two types of table in traditional routing if i will talk about the router where we have not enabled mpls so let's say i have one router here r1 and mpls is not enabled on this router so this router will have two number of table one will be in control plane one table will be there in control plane and one table will be there in data plane data plane if i will talk about the control plane table so it will maintain rib table in the control plane if i will talk about the data plane table so it will maintain fib table fib table and whenever it will receive the traffic it will check fib table but again when we will enable the mpls on this router then it will you know router will start maintaining two mode table one in control plane and one in data plane once i will enable mpls it will start maintaining two mode table one is called l i b table and one is called l f i b table LIB stands for label information base table and label forwarding information base table and now this is like rib table and this is like fib table whenever it will receive any traffic in a, any packet it will check this table if mpls enabled router is receiving a packet it will check this table lfib table and on the basis of lif lfib table routers will take forwarding decision in lifib table it will store label number with prefixes so in this network in this network if we will configure mpls these router will not install all prefixes in their routing table this is the first benefit and routers will take forwarding decision on the basis of label and size of label is only 20 bits only 20 bits so by checking 20 bits information router will switch the packet so here traffic forwarding or packet forwarding will be fast as compared to earlier as compared to SAF getting my point because this time it is checking only 20 bits information earlier it was opening 20 bytes header to check destination IP address and after that it will look up their FIB table then it will find the next stop IP address then exit interface and after that it order will process the packet but now in mpls it will check only 20 bits label and after that it can switch the packet we will understand how how mpls will work just try to understand guys why we are going to learn mpls first okay i will make you understand all the things like how mpls will work how routers are going to add that label how labeling will work how packet 
फ्लो इज देयर इन एम पी एल एस ऑल थिंग्स एंड टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डोंट वरी ओके बट दिस इज डे वन दिस इज फर्स्ट वीडियो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड टू डे वाई वी कम अप विथ एम पी एल एस सो फर्स्ट रीजन इज सो दैट इन सर्विस प्रोवाइडर नेटवर्क सर्विस प्रोवाइडर ऑटर शुड नोट इंस्टॉल वट ऑल रॉड्स ऑफ कस्टमर ओके विदाउट इंस्टॉलिंग रॉड्स ऑफ रॉड्स ऑफ कस्टमर इन दियर रॉटिंग टेबल दीज रॉटर कैन फॉरवर्ड ट्रैफिक ऑफ कस्टमर फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनोदर पॉइंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ लेबल with the help of label so delay will also fast here we don't have any delay and here we don't need to purchase you know uh, high cpu high cpu utilization router or good hardware here i can use normal routers as well okay and the second benefit is fast as i told you okay that switching will be fast so what will do what we will do here in p to c router we will configure maybe bgp and here in service provider network we will configure mpls guys if you have less number of router let's say in your network there are five router six router 10 routers then you don't need to use mpls mpls is required when we have lots of router like if i will talk about the isp network service provider network in this type of network there are lots of router 500 5000 you know 10000 routers are there so in those networks we need to use mpls and from tomorrow we are going to understand how mpls works what it is exactly okay so guys mpls is nothing but it is an routing technique which we are using in large network for the fast switching for the fast switching if i will talk about the mpls so mpls will do nothing mpls will add one extra header that is mpls header between ip header and data link header let's say this pc will have generate one packet one packet in the packet source ip is 10.1.1.1 destination ip is 10.1.2.1 after that source mac is let's say 0a and destination mac is let's say 0b that is gateway mac address pc will forward this to self to this ce router and ce router will check their routing table in their routing table route will be available it will forward to this router and here on pe router mpls is enabled so what pe router will do pe router will add one extra header that is 10.1.1.1 destination will be same 10.1.2.1 after that it will add one header mpls header in this mpls header there will be tag number let's say 103 and then layer 2 header let's say we are using serial link so hdlc header will be there lc here after that p router will forward this packet to provider router provider router is not going to check ip header provider routers will never check ip header that's why i am telling you that this router will will not have root as well in the routing table but still it can forward the packet because it is going to check this information mpls header till mpls header it will open layer 2 header and mpls header inside the mpls header it, it will see the tag number and it will swap the tag number we will understand how it will swap the tag number and after that it will process the packet to their neighbor routers okay guys so this is all about this video about the today video today just we have discussed that in which scenario we need to use mpls and today we will understand what what is mpls we will understand saf also what is saf a uh, saf table what is the difference between rib and fib table oh, how routers build lib table lfib table all things we are going to understand in upcoming days guys if you have learn something from this video please hit on like button if you like this playlist mpls playlist please let me know in comment that's all for today thanks for watching we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye